If I stop before the mask gets to Draconia, you won't see a single shilling. Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm a child of the city. I don't know my way around here. It's still many miles to Draconia. We've only just begun to climb the mountain. I have to eat. Give me silver. Silver? The silver platter from the burial chamber. Give it to me. Princess, he seems to be offering you a trade. Do you really want to do that? Here you are. And now? As you will. It looks like you're going to starve now. How come you're suddenly talking again? You've been mute since we left the caves. I was afraid. Afraid? Yes. I was stuck in a dark but safe hole for thousands of years. I don't know who I am, where I come from, where I'm going, and how this is all going to end. In addition, I'm bound to a grim woman who carries what is probably a demonic staff on her back. Of course I'm afraid! <laughs> don't laugh! Whenever I think I've figured you out, you laugh like a perfectly normal woman again. Even the growling of your stomach is that of a plain mortal. It's high time I ate something. What? Your guide has you in the palm of his hand. He knows you'd be lost in this wilderness without him. Just wait and see. I saw an animal's burrow behind the tree. I'll catch whatever lives there and eat it. <laughs> How can I make a fire now? How... How can I... How... How can I... How am I supposed to reach Draconia without food? Are you listening to me? Part of our agreement is that you keep me alive. Pointless. He's ignoring me. If I want something to eat, I'll have to hunt for it myself. I could hide behind that, but not without good reason. There would be enough room here for a trap, but I think I'll do it some other way. Heavy, but why would I want to lift it anyway? Come on out, little beast. I need to eat you. You have a way with words, Sherizan. I only lie when I have to. That won't get me anywhere. I don't even know where... No, that... That won't get me any... Better not. I don't see any con... Hmm... That'll never... Better not. Better not. I mustn't lose... I made them pointy. That'll never... First I should put the pelt down somewhere. Hmm, that probably isn't magical enough. I would have to remove the stakes again first. There would be enough room here for a trap, but I think I'll do it some other way. That won't lead to any... Better not. That won't lead to any... No. I 
I can't lose my head now. What shall I fasten it to? I don't even know where I... I mustn't lose... There are plenty of flowers left. Nothing there to catch at the moment. Come on out, little beast. I need to eat you. You have a way with words, Sherizan. I only lie when I have to. That only works with mad. That won't do as bad. There isn't enough room here to build a trap. It took the bait. Nothing there to catch at the moment. I don't even know where I should start. Come on, come farther out. Yes, come closer. I've almost got you. There would be enough. That looks good. Impressive. Poor thing. And now? Can't just eat it raw. Here, take these stones. Oh, who doesn't need stones? No, these are special stones for fire. He seems to be holding something in his hand. These are flints. Thank you. And now the staff? What? Stones for the staff. That's the price. You have the stones. Now I get the staff. Ha! Ah, we'll see about that, won't we, mistress? I still need wood. I better not do that. Hmm.
thank you for not giving me away. I thought you wanted to get rid of me. As unpredictable as you are, he's even worse. Failed. I might as well just lie here and die. No. Oh. Oh. He took everything. He only left the flints and the mask. I'll hunt that bastard down. I'll catch him and I'll gut him like a rat. No one flouts me and gets away with it. Where did he go? Are those animal tracks? Or was it Rachvan? If I follow the wrong trail, I may never find my way back. Hmm. Perhaps with these berries. So I came from here. This way I can't possibly get lost. I wonder where this leads. This is so confusing. I think I've got enough. This is so confusing. I wonder where this leads. I wonder where this leads. I want, I want. I will not go one step closer, not without a weapon. I'm not going one step closer, not before I'm sure that there's nothing lurking behind this web. I need something more impressive to fight that thing. I need something more impressive to fight that thing. Better not. That won't suffice. That won't suffice. I don't much care. Won't lead to. I don't even. To make a fire. To make a fire, I need to somehow bundle the kindling. I bet this'll. That won't suff. That won't suff. That won't suff. Now the staff, quick. 
Ah, oh, princess. I just braced myself for the next thousand years. There's no time for that. Which way did he go? Back there. Over the tree trunk. Good. It's not following us. We're safe. So, do you trust me now? You only saved me, so I can tell you where your treacherous guide fled to. Then stop doubting me and start trusting me. I'll only trust you when you tell me what you're planning to do with me. Nothing. I'm not planning to do anything with you. It's entirely up to you whether you help me or not. I don't believe you. I'm going into battle, a war for which no one can predict the outcome. I'm following a path that cannot be planned. I take what I can get, and like a rope artist, I weave a safety net from it. But how do you know that the net will hold in the end? I'll only know that when the time comes. All I can do is fall. Why do I have the feeling this can't possibly end well? Trust me, I've taken more precautions than you know. What happened here? Looks like a battle took place. Oh, finally a little warmth. I can smell something besides blood. Don't tell me that coward poisoned his dagger. It's stuck too deep in the tree, but without a bow it's useless to me anyway. There must be another... I don't see any... It's stuck too deep. There are still a few pelts lying in the tent. They left everything behind in a hurry. There are still a few pelts. They left everything... Now that's just done It's stuck to- I can smell some- Don't tell me- Flies have already infested the wound. I'm not touching that meat. I'd rather not. Don't tell- Hmm. That only works. That only works. Right now, I've got problems other than getting rid of him. Finally, the first stage of the journey is finished. But I'll never make it up there without a guide. I thought you were prepared, mistress. Hmm. There are people by the waterfall, and at least one of them looks awfully familiar. Ah, uh, Byrondra. I think his blade was Poison. If only you had used a sword and not that cursed bow. Stay calm. If you get upset, 
The poison will spread through your veins even faster. Are you sure no one followed us? When a Fekina jumps out of the bushes, the rest of the tribe can't be far behind. Don't worry. He has no hair. He's an outcast. Dishonored. A coward who poisons his enemies. I'll make him pay for this. Those are Rondra Amazons. I heard their fortress was west of here. But what are they doing so far out this way? Don't worry about it and get out of here! No. I need that bastard. Only he knows the way to Draconia. <sighs> May the gods be with you. I see you've captured a Fakina. Who are you? My name is Sadia. The Fakina was supposed to guide me through the Rashtulian Wall before he knocked me down and robbed me. Thanks for catching him for me. Hmm. Don't listen to her. Can't you see the darkness in her eyes? I have the situation in hand, Mother Lioness. You were careless to trust such a man. A Fakina without hair is a Fakina without honor. A man without honor is a man without love for the gods and without pride and therefore capable of anything. Where was he supposed to guide you? I'm going to Draconia. To the Council of the Elements? Why? I want to join the Holy Army there and fight the battle in the Gorian Desert. Then we have the same destination. Not Draconia, but the war. Shoot her. She is evil. You're speaking in delirium. Please calm yourself. Is there any news from the battlefield? The troops from Zorgan are on their way to Angapal, ready to attack the center of evil. They're only waiting for reinforcements, which are currently camped outside Draconia. Meanwhile, the hordes of darkness are gathering in the Gorian Desert. A glorious battle lays before us. You're very young for a warrior. When fate overtakes us, we can't wait. We must act as we are commanded. That can be difficult for outsiders to understand. Believe me, I understand. A few moons ago, our highest lioness had a vision from our goddess Rondra. A burning red lioness, the symbol of our goddess. Twenty ears of grain, only half of them ripe. They stand for me and my sisters, and the statue of a mighty female warrior. Embraced by a demonic creature. It's been long since we've had such a clear sign. When the lioness speaks, we obey. What's wrong with your companion? We were at our camp below the fog. When the Fakina surprised us, he slew my sister's horse and poisoned my sister with his dagger. We took him prisoner and withdrew here to avoid further attacks from his people. Fortunately, the poison is harmless but induces fever, dreams, and drowsiness. Why don't you let the Fakina go? Never! He's too dangerous! It would take a divine miracle for me to let a cowardly murderer like him go free. I'm going to take a look around. Yes, but don't approach the prisoner, or else you'll feel an arrow in your hand faster than you'd like. You're so nice to her. She's just like me. It won't be easy to coax her into giving me Rahwan. Hmm. Unless... Will you help now after all? I might have an idea, but I'll need his necklace for it. What are you planning? Bring me the necklace, and I'll tell you. You're serious about taking the armor of those battle clerics? No, that would be foolish. I was just thinking about what I'm going to wear when I go to war, and whether we're going to fight side by side. You really cannot wait to die. Hmm? If you don't understand, then shut up. As long as she's lying here, the girl will be occupied. I'd rather keep that. I have to treat her wounds. I need your necklace. Stay away from the Fakina. A man with a spear. 
painting shows a woman with a child in her arms. The image of a dragon. Two men hunting some... Two men hunt... A group of people peacefully sitting by a... F an apple is hanging from a tree and a man is picking it. I can't get the branches apart with my bare hands. I can't reach that. I need your necklace. Stay away from the Fakino. That only works with men. I see what you do, and I advise you to leave. No. Now that's just done in... Hmm. No. I can't reach... No, that's my... No, that's... No. I better not do that. I see what you do and I advise... Hmm. I can't read. I have nothing. If I toss my things in the river here, I'll never see them again. It only works on people. Now that's just done. That'll never work. I mustn't lose... That won't lead to... I'd rather not. No. I won't drink until I know I'm safe here. I still need it. The dagger or him? Both. No. That'll never work. Don't even think about it. Perhaps you remember the vision I sent you in the burial chamber as an explanation for the blood ritual. You mean the image of my bleeding hand, the smouldering incense bowl, and you? Correct. Well, you can't talk to the prisoner since the girl would get suspicious. But you could send him a vision and ask him to get on good terms with her. And how? With the spell of vision sending. 
which I now place in your hands. Cast it on the necklace in your bag, and I'll explain the rest. The spell works only on someone you have a personal item from, and you can only send visions of things which are nearby by using three visions only. You can tell the prisoner that he should get on the good side of the Amazon. Using three visions only? Yes. Direct his attention to his tormentor, then to him, and finally, to a symbol for friendship and sociability. He will, without fail, associate these three things with one another. He can't defend himself against it. The order of the visions does not matter. Shut up! Hmm. It didn't work. Wait for it. Zul, Asasha. Please do me a favor. Take this piece of cloth from my cloak and gag the Fakina. No daughter of Rondra deserves such abuse. Ow! He tried to bite me. Let him yell at the girl. It's not worth it to me. What is it? I... I had a vision from my goddess. She instructed me to pluck the prisoner from the tree like an apple. I must follow her command, but I need your help. What should I do? I fear for my sister should I let him go here. Take my horse, which you'll find behind the waterfall, and carry the prisoner up the hill. Once you're far enough away, let him go and send the horse back to me. You can count on me. Thank you. Right, there we are. I'll let you go, and in return, you must keep your promise and guide me to Draconia. Agreed? <sighs> Agreed. Then hold still, so I can free you from your bonds. Do you really want to do that? He already betrayed you once. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. 